There surely are plenty of amazing football stories around the globe, but not many of them top the one of Emmanuel Adabayor. Emmanuel Adabayor was born in Togo in 1984. At the age of 15, he made a move to Metz, a club he made a professional debut for two years later. Throughout the peak of his career, he played for giants such as Monaco, Arsenal, Man City, Real Madrid and Tottenham. His highest accomplishments were reaching the UEFA Champions League final with Monaco in 2003 and winning a cup in 2010 with Real Madrid. However, the main focus of this video will be the cinematic life story of the player. The former Togolese international's life story seems like a movie script and it wouldn't be surprising if it becomes one day. The first and the most unbelievable event happened when he was just a little boy. Adeber was unable to walk for the first four years of his life. His mom was desperate and took him to all the doctors in the region, but unfortunately no one could help them. There's no cure you can just pray in the church for him every day for a week. Was the line Adeber's mother heard when she was in the search of a cure for her son. It was heartbreaking at the time for the mother of a four-year-old boy to hear these words coming out of the most valued doctors in the country. Nevertheless, since she was a woman of faith, she took Emmanuel to the Christian church for prayer for six consecutive days. She prayed for days but nothing had happened and gradually she started losing faith. On the last day, they were lying hopelessly on the floor of the Christian church, accepting the harsh reality that Emmanuel would never walk. And just then, they witnessed the miracle. I was in the church lying down and around 9 or 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning, I could hear children playing outside. Suddenly, somebody kicked a ball into the church, and the first person to stand up and run was me, because I wanted to get that ball," described Adeber for Arsenal TV. Everyone in the church was in awe. Not only did they witness the true miracle of God, but also the first steps of what later came to be an all-time top-scoring Togolese player. The next incredible event in the controversial life of African football star took place in 2009. But before we proceed, Please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel to help us grow and provide you with more awesome content like this. Now let's go back to Adeber. 2009 was the year when he made a 25 million move from Arsenal to Man City following the Sheikh Mansour takeover. Back then, Adeber was on the rise and was a very important player for Arsene Wenger's side. He spent 4 years for the North London side scoring a total of 62 goals in 142 games in all competitions. The fans were not happy with this move to say the least and they took the first chance they got to share with Emmanuel their emotions toward him. It was the fifth round of the English Premier League when Man City faced Arsenal just two months later after the transfer. The away fans were racially abusing Adebar throughout the whole game. He on the other hand was waiting for the perfect opportunity to pay them back. And soon the perfect opportunity occurred. It was the 80th minute of the game. Mika Richards' perfect cross from the right flank found Adeber alone in the box and he scored a beautiful header to put his team two goals in front. The Togolese player then sprinted across the whole pitch and celebrated the goal in front of the rampant away fans. It was truly one of the most disrespectful goal celebrations by any player in the Premier League. Later, Adeber explained his reasons. I was running on pure emotions and when you take emotion out of football we are going to have a big problem. People say I had time to think because I ran the length of the pitch but that is not true. I was abused all match and scored a goal I knew would win the game for us. 10 seconds is nothing. Your emotion is going to last a lot longer than that. It certainly took him some time to cool off but he did apologize for his celebration publicly two years later after the incident. Just a couple of months after the infamous celebration, Adeber was one of the victims of a terrorist attack. In January 2010, the Togolese football team was on their way to Angola, the host of the African Cup nations that year. To say that they weren't welcome is an understatement. Only a few minutes after reaching the border, the Togolese bus was under ambush fire for 30 minutes. The players and the staff were crouching under the seats in the hope of avoiding the gunfire. The bus was being protected by two police cars who tried their best to scare away the attackers. Unfortunately, the attack resulted in the death of the team's assistant coach, media officer and bus driver, while several other members of the team were injured. Adamor spoke for BBC Live, I think a lot of players want to leave. 
I don't think they want to be at this tournament anymore because they have seen their death already. Most of the players want to go back to their family. No one can sleep after what they have seen today. They have seen one of their teammates have a bullet in his body, who is crying, who is losing consciousness and everything. Adabur added, we are still in shock. If the security is not sure, then we will be leaving tomorrow. I don't think they will be ready to give their life. We will discuss everything as a team and we will take a decision that we think is good for our career, is good for our life and good for our family. As a result of this tragic event, Togo decided to withdraw from the tournament and return home. The last but certainly not the least interesting topic we are mentioning in this video is Adabur's public outburst over his family. In 2014, Adabur went public with his claims that his mother was practicing witchcraft on him. He accused her of the poor run he had in Tottenham, explaining it was due to the black magic cast on him. Reportedly, Adabur kicked his mom out of home, leaving her on one pound a day from selling tomatoes. Adabur didn't stop there, but rather condemned the other family members through shared Facebook posts. He accused his brother Timmy of stealing his prized belongings, such as Zinedine Zidane's shirt. He also accused his sister of buying herself a house with his money without his knowledge and other family members asking for his money. In one of the interviews he claimed he could have sealed a permanent switch to the Spanish giant but he learned that his late brother sent a letter to the club urging them not to sign him. Adabar said he doesn't talk to his family anymore because they never cared about him except for his money. When asked to explain his behavior toward the family he said My mother gave me the chance to be where I am today and I will never be disrespectful to my mother. I respect her for being my mother and for being there for me in a difficult moment. But today, I'm Adabur, I have to look after someone else as well. I don't know, I don't talk to my family anymore, but I talk to my friends. So whenever they want to talk to me, I'm available to talk to everyone because I'm a good believer. He then continued, you know, we've done things, we've seen things and we've gone through things. The issue is not just mine because for me, they're not helping me to do my job properly. They'll never call you to know if you're okay. You play a game and get injured a couple of times and they will never call to see if you're okay. Whenever they call you is to ask for anything. Care about me and let me care about you, you know? Don't just care about my finance, care about. At the end of the day you say blood is thicker than water. Why did you forget the blood and you are thinking about my account? So for me, that issue is just hanging somewhere. Adabur is Togo's all-time top scorer with 32 goals in 88 matches. He announced his retirement from professional football on the 21st of March 2023, aged 39. This surely is just the tip of the iceberg from Adabur's adventurous life, but it's still one hell of a story. Did you like the video? If you did, please give us a like and let us know what other player would like to know more about in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.